Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Today we're gonna to be doing a how to make money video. And this is a business that you could start now, even though it's not gonna be as needed as it's gonna be needed in the future. So without saying anything more and trying to surprise you, let's do this. Wait, let's do that again, that's better. Let's do this. Okay, everybody, I thank you so much for being with me. Uh, I want to talk about a business that I think is gonna flourish here pretty soon. And I've done it myself, actually, and that was owning a cleaning business. Um, I started a business a long time ago, starting a company that did new construction cleaning. And the reason why I wanted to do construction cleaning was I didn't wanna clean dirty toilets, quite frankly. I have done that, that's uh, just, it's hard work, it's horrible. But I did it because I wanted to earn money and save money to invest to be able to come successful in the future, all right? And so that's a whole nother story. But what I was doing was new construction cleaning. So after a company would build a new home or a contractor would be remodeling a home or building an addition, they would hire me to come in and clean it all up and make it spotless for the day that they reveal it to the new owners. Uh, but this is a little bit different. You see, there's about to be a huge wave of foreclosures in the market. And it's gonna take a couple of years to really uh, like funnel through and settle, settle out. And so one business that is gonna be absolutely booming is the, uh, the foreclosure industry where banks are having to take uh, homes back from people that were in forbearance that could not pay their mortgages. And quite frankly, it's a very sad thing, but this is one thing that you can actually be blessed with and start a business that could really grow because one thing those banks need, and we're talking about cleaning and junk hauling, uh, banks are gonna need people to come in immediately in a timely manner with a dump trailer, take all the possessions or whatever's left from when the people left, take it, haul it to the dump, and then clean the house and get it ready for uh, marketing. Now, there's a couple different ways of making money in this, which is really neat. One way is obviously to clean the house and get paid to clean the house. The other way is when you take that stuff to jump, not everything's junk. And what we saw in 2008 was a lot of these junk haulers were going, uh, throw that away, throw that away, oop, keep that, set it off to the side, throw that away, keep that off to the side. They would take some snapshots, they would throw it onto Craigslist, and they had a whole nother side gig for a cash business where they were actually making cash selling things that shouldn't have been left, where they say the old adage, uh, one man's junk is another man's treasure. Well, in the foreclosure industry, it's the exact same thing. A lot of times, people would just walk away and abandon things that were totally useful and could be sold to somebody else, especially in a lot of cases, you don't even have to clean those items up. You can just sell them as is, bicycles and all kinds of stuff. So this is a kind of business where someone could start very small. You literally need a pickup truck to haul junk away, some cleaning equipment, and a cell phone to be able to list things on Craigslist. And you can make money a couple different ways. So let me tell you how to start the business, okay? So one thing you wanna do is be organized. You're gonna to wanna to learn about uh, setting up a corporation and uh, make yourself look very legitimate and be legitimate, right? And uh, a corporation, a corporate name, is very good when it comes to banks and dealing with real estate agents. They wanna know that they're doing business with a real business. Now you don't have to be incorporated. You could be doing a uh, DBA, doing business as, um, and have your business license with your uh, local jurisdiction, your city or county. Um, but corporation by and large does help out and it does help protect you in certain legal instances. Um, another thing is, is you start immediately you build your advertising base using all kinds of different social media, things like that, but then um, start getting your name out to local real estate agents. Because even though we haven't hit this foreclosure wave now, there are gonna be some small jobs that are gonna be needed. Real estate agents go, hey, look, I just uh, got this listing from somebody that passed away. The family wants to sell the house. It's still got everything in it and the family is not here. They just want it gone. So what's really neat about this business, you could start now, even though you're not super busy and you could slowly do it on your, um, your, in your free time and start building up the needed ex experience and getting to know the industry and how it works, how to talk to the real estate agents and how to talk to the banks. So I think this is an awesome opportunity for people to start a business that is going to be slowly ramping up because that's the one thing that's really hard for a lot of businesses. Sorry guys, for the sounds of the birds, the place is going crazy. Um, uh, we're sitting there in a time where the hardest thing for a business owner is rapid growth. That is the hardest thing to be able to grasp because some people completely lose their minds during rapid growth and they don't know how to seize the moment, you know? So this is one of those industries that you could start really slowly and start a, a valuable write-off for your vehicle, 
possibly a dump trailer, um, all kinds of different things that you could normally use in your normal life. Or maybe you are right now, you might have a construction company, you got some extra equipment and guys, and you start thinking, hey, you know what, let's branch the company off, the construction business, off into junk hauling and cleanup, and then I'll start getting my names out. So I know right now there's a lot of contractors going, Bing. So, all right, guys, with that being said, I thank you so much for your time. I hope you like this segment. If you do, please hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. The Economic Ninja is out.